Jo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. David Jr. here. It's early in the morning. I'm leaving home. That's our home at the far end right there. For those who are new here, I'm a content creator based here in the village. But at the same time, mostly I'm located at Nairobi, the capital, because that's where I take my studies. And I'm so privileged, like the end of this year, I'll be graduating from the university. So on today's video is very very special because as the title suggests how I managed to buy my convertible car at the age of 21. So I hope uh, uh, somebody out there will be inspired at the same time just to view it as an angle of motivation. At the same time I'm accompanied with my uncle. <laughs> it's uncle mom from Kenya. You for the first time we are coming across our channel, subscribe to YouTube, our YouTube channel, subscribe to David's YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. You are here with David yeah. going to Jabuanse Market because this area has no electricity. Yeah, sure guys. We are in a shortage. <laughs> <laughs> so, so David so yeah, I was almost falling down. We have a blackout. Hey, the, no, the wind, the wind. The wind is too much and I'm using a GoPro camera to record this video. So as I've said there is a blackout in our in our village. Even right now I'm carrying my laptop there. So we're going to edit this video that I'm shooting right here, right here. So what's the what's the experience so far? <laughs> Especially when driving in my car. <laughs> Very comfortable vehicle. Very comfortable. That vehicle. Mm -hmm. When you are inside, mm -hmm. they say a, a governor because <laughs> nobody is, is owning their vehicle like that one in this village. Even, Not in the, the village, but the whole city. county. The whole county. The guys. city, this city of Migori County. I come from Migori County that is located at the border between Kenya and Tanzania, in which I'm so happy. Like I come from this county here, so my car always outshines. That's why I wanna. Um, narrate how I managed to buy that car, but I see crazy people. They are saying I took loans, credit. <laughs> Stick to our, our haters. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We don't want to give them a, a bad issues. Let them even go and take credit. The card is not they can continue. But I you know Dave is going on with his life without credit. <laughs> Crazy. I always walk out and see some crazy things going on. Yeah, and uh, me, I have no time for that bad energy. For sure, guys, my car is fully paid. It's fully paid, a hundred percent. No credit, <laughs> no need of showing you the money. You are not in the credit. Just accept. Let us go on with the credit. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a full comment. Okay, let's go on with the credit. It's all good, okay? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. eh. Eh. Anyway, guys, okay. <laughs> let's go on with the credit. Anyway, guys, um, this dream came so early because you do understand David Jr. comes from a family where there are no cars. So for me, let me ask you a question. Okay. Maybe this question is, <laughs> will surprise me. How do you think until you decide to say you purchase this vehicle that is open this way? Like I thought was. That's a nice question. Okay, guys, my car is a convertible car. It closes and opens. My uncle just asked me where the inspiration came to buy a convertible car. For me, I used to see these cars on Instagram and on TV, but fortunately enough, we're chilling with that baby here in the village. That tells you everything is possible, man. So for me, I had this admiration, like especially the big artists, they used to own these kind of cars. So for me, like it came from, uh, from that point of view, like, oh man, and also, it feels good to own a convertible car because when driving that car, eh, it gives you that, that feeling, you understand? So for me, I got this inspiration. And also from um, my friends abroad, I have many friends who own such cars. So I was uh, like, one day I want to buy that car. And also this dream came uh, very early, very early. <laughs> Yeah, 
I just answered you. Yes. Yeah, the dream. I uh, got inspired by my friends to buy the car. That's very nice. You know, mm -hmm. the reason is why I ask you that question. Mm -hmm. People like opening a vehicle here, mm -hmm. buying a vehicle open behind. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the Saruni vehicle. So guys, the big question is that, how did I manage to buy that car? I want to give a special shout out to one of my close, close friends. Actually, I, I always call him dad because he has played a big role in my life. That is, um, uh, his name, actually he has a YouTube channel. I want to be leaving the link on my description box. Um, by the name Kahara David, you know? You, you mean you share the same DDD? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very close friend of mine in whom he made it possible for me to get that car. You know, like, I trusted him. He's more than a dad to me. Like, he has been there since day one. Actually, I do remember my first time driving a car, like, putting my hands on, ste on the stair wheel. It was his car. True story. You can go watch. Actually, I showed that video. My first car. The title is My First Car, David Jr. Kindly go check it out. You'll see how it all started. So for me, I visited uh, him. I mean, uh, that, that friend of mine, up to date, he's so close friend of mine. So for me, I visited him one year plus ago. I told him because he owns, he owns many cars, of, for sure. He owns many cars. I told him, hey, me, I'm so inspired. I want to drive a convertible. I love such cars. And uh, he said, for sure it will come to reality, you know? And it came. Now we're living the dream right now. I have the baby chilling at home. So that's how my friendship started with him. And he's a nice person. For me, I'm so new on, uh, on cars because even when I, I, I was purchasing the car, even the names, uh, he processed me the logbook. He was such a kind person because me, I was so new in the game. I was so naive. I want to get the car back. He advised me accordingly. Maybe we have to take time. We have to look for these kind of cars, though they are very rare in the market. Guys, convertibles are not found here in Kenya. Very rare in the market and they are very expensive. Actually, the price of the car is between 1.5 million. Two, two million there so you can guess the price of the car i saw crazy <laughs> i saw crazy haters were saying the car is forty-five thousand kenyan shilling imagine imagine my, eyes. <laughs> my uncle is closing his Imagine you say 45. What? Imagine uh, all people could finish. have cars here <laughs> everybody. How about the tuk tuk? <laughs> the motorbike. <laughs> tuk tuk or keke. Uh, yeah. The motorbike, the one. Drun, 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 drun. 200. <laughs> Haters are saying it is it's like that. 45,000. Imagine, guys. You know, other people are just evil. Very pure. <laughs> They are saying it's 45,000 You see this one, it's like service is Sanka. Mm -hmm. It is costing 250, those Sanka, the, the one you see written, Sanka. That right there, yeah. that if KK, or the three-wheeled car, it if, goes for 2,500. If you want to take it at the credit card, mm -hmm. you put 100. 100,000. And you pay the remaining part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why you give them, let them try and bring them, they are comfortable with it. 20, see now, 20. <laughs> yeah, if it is 45,000 Kenyan shilling, I challenge you, show us what you drive 45, here. 45, 45 are crazy people. If you say 45 means only two, t three T-bars, like this one. <laughs> Imagine, I was, I was asking myself, okay, if cars are that cheap, Everybody could be driving, even in the village here. Everybody <laughs> could be driving. Now having three cars. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, guys. If they were that cheap, even for me, I could own even ten of them in a row. Forty-five thousand Kenyan shillings. So, 
For me, I don't want to focus on uh, such crazy people. <laughs> Go on with life. Because they, do, they didn't do what I've achieved in my age, you know. Even they can't show us where they come from. They can't show us where they stay. So it's crazy. Yeah, even I got pissed off. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy until somebody says this uncle is maybe excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited because of the price somebody saying is getting his own thing. I have not even visited the price where things are being sold. <laughs> this is the price you see the, the price. <laughs> you know somebody, I want to hear. He, see, he had somebody saying, I'm purchasing this, like this one, mm -hmm. this one and this one. Mm -hmm. You think they are, the they are selling the same price in the market? No! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just go there, you see your eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. Guys, sorry <laughs> for bringing that controversial issues here, but I had to, even I saw it's crazy. I don't know where they, they got the pictures of the car and they screenshot it under. They edited and put some uh, cracks, you know, so that the car can look old. It's crazy. Those people are just too weird. Very I, I, evil. According to me, I, I'm very happy because even if it is, you put the crack, <laughs> the vehicle <vehicle's> is moving. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll show the car and you'll be the judge. You know, those people are just so weird. Anyway, that's how it is. That's how. But at the same time, you have to understand they are hustling, just like the Vijuni is creating videos. Yeah, that's why they they monetize their videos. So, you know, I've realized the one thing. <laughs> Maybe I'm now in the correct track. Mm -hmm. Somebody's missing what to talk. Mm -hmm. He just see what can can I see from this tree? Mm -hmm. This tree is white. Yeah. When we talk about this tree, if I can remove the white car, mm -hmm. we will never remove it. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, the inspiration of me buying the car came from my dad, in whom I've already given a special shout out. At the same time, I got inspired just uh, from my background, my humble background, like I should own a car. And uh, I can comfortably say I'm the first person to buy a car in my family, in which it's just humbling guys. I don't take it for granted. Uh, Let them see me here. The whole of this village, uh -huh. the first vehicle to be seen here was Chris. Yeah, yeah, in our village, <laughs> the first car to be seen in our village, it was Chris car. Huh? Big shout out yeah. to him. When I was watching it, this is uh -huh. the second one. Now the, the one is owning it right now. You can just even you are sick. The vehicle will be found here. It's dead. <laughs> And my car is so popular in these streets. Very, very, very popular in these streets. But at the same time, it's okay, no problem. It's okay. <laughs> so it feels good to be a car owner in Kenya. And for me, I'm just worried. Like, if the car can give those crazy people sleepless nights, what about when I start even constructing my house? <laughs> now you make, you make people cry the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is um, a village town, it's called Nyabohanse. I want to be showing you as we share these stories, real African stories. So that's a swampy area. Look at that, it's so green. It is rocky. It's rocky? You can just even stones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is our hometown in which I'll be showing you how it looks like. Yeah, so enjoy the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Yeah guys, view this video from an angle of motivation and I've been working for it. It's evident from the videos I've been pulling day by day. And also, <clears throat> I'm close to two years in the game, so you can imagine. And uh, it was already pretty timing, guys. It's not something that uh, I woke up and, and went to the market and buy the car. No, no, no. no. Even uh, I used to talk about the car, like one day I want to buy the car. Many months ago, for those who are just watch, who have been watching me since time immemorial, they can't understand. So, they hassle is real. That guy was asking me if I can, uh, we can book his motorbike so that he can drive us. But I just told him, we're just going to the market. Yeah. So this is the main road here. Um, International road, it heads to the capital of uh, Nairobi. Um, let me show you. 
<laughs> yeah. So I'm well known here in these streets. But let's see. So this is our market guys. It's called Nyabohansi. So early in the morning here, that's why people are not many as usual because they have gone to church, right? Today they are celebrating. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> they are celebrating. Oh, actually it's a holiday yeah. today. I want to wish you a good holiday guys. Eh? Happy Easter Monday, though I'm shooting this video on a Sunday. So I wish you the very best. So we have a tarmac road here, eh? passing by here in our village market village look at this that's why i always say our village is improving day by day day by day so look at this huh <coughs> but people are improving it's not used to be this way you see when we have modern houses around furniture they are, they are selling beds um yeah it's amazing to be here in the village and just to show you these little stories here so yeah this is how it is. This is how it is. Yeah, Bohansi. <laughs> Are they far end right there? We used to stay. We used to live here. But let's do this. At the same time, I wanna be taking you where I'm editing my videos. I always edit my videos from my barber shop. So let me show you guys. Enjoy. Huh? Early in the morning, she people are outside. <laughs> so at the far end there, we have um, a national school. It's called Moenya Bohanse Girls. It's so popular. Uh, recently, they made it as a national school. Yeah, this is how it is. This is how it is. So this road right here, it heads to where we used to stay. <laughs> yeah guys i'm not a person of attention so to avoid attention let's pass here we have a village bar <laughs> a club here in the village this is how it looks like eh? that one right easy that one right easy Okay, so let's go let's go directly where we are editing videos so that people can see the real hassle. Yeah guys. So this is our market, this is how it looks like. Eh? This is where we sell the goods. This is how it is. It's kinda of modern market. In Swahili we call this Marigit, Marikit, something like that. Here. This is how it is. So guys, even I'm out of this topic at the same time it was all about the car. Um yeah, then just, we decided to pass in this market. In yeah, we decided to pass in this market, my uncle is right. <laughs> because of the music, I do understand I'll get the copyright. So <laughs> wow guys i see a lot of people shopping for for the beef it's because it is a celebration here i just noticed eh? i just noticed celebration are going on okay i think they will repair so my uncle whew, I have to be very careful. <laughs> so my uncle was asking me uh, the person for the person who is uh, we are operating from his shop is not around so that we can chill for him so that he can come. Wow. This is our market, this is how it is very early in the morning. People are outside working so hard to make their ends meet um, which is a good thing which is a good thing yeah. Nyabohansi market from this angle right here this is how it looks like my village to the world my village to the world 
and I'm just happy guys to show you this real hustle that David Junior always goes through so that her videos can be up because it's more than two weeks right now we don't have electricity at home um, yeah the hustle is real so let me show you where we always uh, work from so this is a barber shop here in the village this is how it looks like it's called Loasafi Classic Kinyons so when you visit our village here make sure you come to this place <laughs> VP <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> hello for camera uh -huh. my name is Thomas <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you so this is where we operate from guys huh? Richie city boys cuts huh? so if you're coming from Miami Florida <laughs> this is where you get your cut so we have mirrors here this is how it is quick tour of a um, village barber shop here in Kenya, Africa. This is how it looks like. Huh? I used to watch these kind of movies. Um, Van Damme, Jackie Chan, Donnie Yen, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger, like uh, Bruce Lee. We used to watch these uh, kind of movies. Do you remember you were using the, the something going around like this one? Yeah. Iron Man, <laughs> you see guys, Iron Man right here. We use Van Diesel, like, hey, these are memories. So these are the cuts, eh? classic haircuts right here. And um, how much per head? The price is here. Mm -hmm. Okay, <coughs> guys, let me show you. Okay, Watoto right here. Watoto means uh, kids, eh? Yeah. Kids in uh, Swahili, it's called Watoto. They shave with uh, 30 shillings right there, which is um, less than a half a dollar. Three cents, something like that. Uh, the adults, it's a half a dollar. Actually, less than a half a dollar. Approximately 50 Kenyan shillings, because I do understand a dollar is more than a hundred Kenyan shillings. So it's 50 shillings. The beard is 20 cents. Uh, cut. Cut is when. Uh, like this one. Like this one. You see the cut? Uh, yeah, like that one. <laughs> it's 20 cents. So that's how life here in the village is. We got superstars here. Eh? Warembo. The, Warembo in, uh, in uh, English it's uh, beauty. Yeah? Beauty ladies. <laughs> beauty ladies right here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, guys, so far so good. So this is how it looks like. Um, these were these are the cabinets. These were they keep the machines uh, for shavings for for rubbing. And also, it's a modern uh, barber shop because we have even the towels here, right here. So when you are washed your when uh, they have already finished uh, shaving you, they wash your head and they use these kind of towels and here is a big big mirror and you have a notice here welcome customer we are here because of you wow that's a kind notice so if you are a lover of football we have uh, manchester city by the discord uh, my, my team oh you are a fan of manchester city my team <laughs> <laughs> My uncle is a fan of Manchester City. My team. What, what made you to support Manchester City? It has a strong, a strong players. Okay, tell me the kind of players that you have. De Bruyne. Uh -huh. Alan. Alan. Gondagon. Gondagon. And others. Yeah, those are the strikers from Manchester City. Huh? John Stones, <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> yeah, these are the stars. And also we have Chelsea, right? Yeah, Chelsea FC Football Club. Yeah, so this is how it is. We have system, the sound here. Yeah, it's okay, though they won't play right now. This one for bringing water. I'm shooting this video. So we have containers here for, for fetching water. Tell them why uncle is sitting in a sitting bench waiting to be shaped. These are bench where you can chill when our clients come to visit here. They can relax and um, 
a joy, you know. So this is how it is. Yeah, he's going on with his work right here. Typically, this is how everything looks like. And also, we have electricity here. We have electricity. You can you can put it on so that yeah, people yeah, can yeah. see we have electricity. You can uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, you see, we have electricity right there, guys. <laughs> Yeah, everything is okay. So I wanna edit my videos from here. Let me show you guys what I have, what I have in store. So this is my bag here. Let me cut. Okay, this is my bag here. You can remove my. Okay, let me show you guys. Yeah, what, the one removing. <laughs> yeah, let me show you what I always carry here for the videos uh, to be up. So this is my laptop here. This is the laptop that I always use to edit my videos here. It's a Dell laptop and I use Adobe Premiere Pro to edit my videos. Um, this is the Wi-Fi. Do I have two Wi-Fi's? Okay, let me show you guys. This is my first Wi-Fi and um, which is very essential for production of videos. I mean, to upload the videos. And this is my second Wi-Fi. So I have two Wi-Fi's here. <laughs> right here there are many things so this is my extension right here connect yeah we will connect for sure so it's a hassle by itself it's a hassle by itself this is the charger for my laptop right here the charger it's a hassle by itself for sure and these are my chargers you know i have to ensure my phones are because I have two phones, I have two. This, this is also the charger. So these, all of these. The bag is empty. <laughs> the bag now is empty. So these are always essential for production of videos, guys. Without these, I cannot work. I cannot do that. So yeah. So I think I wanna be ending this video from right here. And for me, I wanna say thank you so much for the love and support. I really, really appreciate. And um, view the video as an angle of motivation. When you view it uh, from the other side, that's when you lose it. But when you see it's an inspiration, like you can do it. For me, I used to see that cars on Instagram, on TV. But fortunately enough, we're chilling with that baby here in the village. You can imagine. That tells you everything is possible as long as you work hard towards it. Believe in God, man. Prayers all the way. If, it were not for God for sure, we couldn't make it where we are right now. And for me, I'm forever grateful. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, I hope people out there, they'll keep uh, being inspired and uh, yeah, changing people's lives and also putting a smile on people's faces, you know. So thank you, thank you. And always avoid the bad energy, guys. Bad energy, man just avoid it because that's where everything always uh, go astray you know yeah like for me um i decided to change my my environment for sure because back then i used to have people around me who who always uh pull me down but i decided you know what i wanna do my thing i wanna chase my dreams like a fearless lion and we're here today we're here today so thank you so much and I want to give a special shout out to everybody who have been always been supportive to me. I have many friends around the world, even I cannot mention all of them. But be sure and keep in mind you always are appreciated every single day. And uh, thank you. And they actually my car's name is Kenny. I decided to call to honor. Like okay, let me explain that. The reason why I called my car Kelly is because uh, my sister from New York, whose name is Kelly, she has been supporting me from since I started my journey. So I decided to honor her just to call my car Kelly. At the same time, that tells me I should work hard so that I can honor my close friends, you know. So, yeah, that is so special. And thank you so much. Okay, then my uncle give. Special shout out <laughs> to his channel <laughs> as I end this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dave, for 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 deciding to, to travel until this house. Yeah, we this really is why we always come to edit videos, guys. We can appreciate the person 
working here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. big shout out to our brother right there yeah, for us. always yeah. allowing me to edit my videos from here. He has been so kind. Yeah. It's more than two weeks since uh, electricity disappeared in our village. Yeah. Yeah, we must say also appreciate him because. Sure. We don't pay him, but somebody can just say we, we are paying him, no? No, it's for just free, free, just for, free, for, for granted, guys. just to give us free. You know? <laughs> we must give him a special shout out. Yeah, for free, <coughs> he has been allowing us to yeah. do videos here. If it were not for him, oh man, even I don't know, guys. If you could have more than be three days without entertaining you, so he made it possible. Thank you so much. Yeah. Remember to give a video a like. This Uncle Mo from Kenya, we love you so much. <laughs> From this amazing, beautiful barber shop of ours, we say thank you and we'll see you in our next one. Bye! Bye. <laughs>